Denise Michelle today in House Talk. If you're looking to sell your home, now is a good time. And if you're one who's looking to get the most out of your open house and generate appeal, then listen up. We got help from an expert on how to get your house looking great. When it comes to selling your home, there can be lots of competition. So in order to stand out, there are a few things you should keep in mind. I think the best thing you can do with a house is, um, is make, make the curb appeal appealing. Uh, people are going to drive by an address, maybe checking out houses, and what's going to make them get out of the car and actually go into the house or talk to their agent about getting a showing. Once the yard is appealing, it's time to tackle the inside. The main idea we tell people is kind of declutter, clean up the place, and organize it so it looks like a, you know, it looks like a, a nice family home. After decluttering, it can be helpful to depersonalize your home as well. The mistake you don't want to make is uh, you want to show the house. And what happens oftentimes is people have a lot of really nice, you know, little knickknacks and furniture pieces and things like that. And they think that they're showing those off when in fact they're not really selling those at all. By putting up or taking down the right amount of photographs and trinkets, it can not only make the house look more appealing, but lived in. Speaking of lived in, pets are members of the household too. It's best to know how to care for them while visitors view your home. A lot of people have allergies. A lot of people have fears of pets. So... You know, although it's the nicest dog in the world as far as you're concerned and it's a cat that just sleeps all day and doesn't bother anyone, somebody may get violently ill. Taking pets out of the house can make buyers feel more comfortable, but animals aren't the only ones who can get in the way. Take yourself out. If we're doing an open house as the owner, you really don't want to be there because people are going to be shy to make comments that they might normally make if you weren't there. They may not open cabinet doors and look under things and look behind things because you're sitting right there. While many people stress about the idea of making their home buyer friendly, it's best to relax and work with someone you feel comfortable with. you got to be confident with your realtor's ability and then you just got to take their lead. If they tell you to maybe make this adjustment or make this adjustment, you know, trust them. And we want to let you know that the Rhode Island Association of Realtors is participating in the nationwide open house weekend coming up June 4th and 5th. So get your open houses in as many listings as possible. And if you're looking to buy, you can find a list of all open houses at riliving.com or head to our website for more info, foxprovidence.com.